JC Knife Works, Kurtz, doing some differential edge hardening on a couple Damascus blades that I ground. I'm going to heat up this edge, flow it back into the Ricasso a little bit, get kind of an even heat on it, both sides. Kind of hard to see with the brightness of the torch. And then we're going to quench it, check it for straightness. And then it'll get a double draw temper. Using a oxyacetylene torch set up with a rosebud tip, spreads the heat out a little more efficiently. After this is done and etch it in the acid solution towards the end, it's going to produce a real beautiful Hammond line, a darker area, just on the blade area where it was tempered so that the cutting edge is hard and the back of the knife still remains flexible, not brittle. Helps it keep that edge for quite a while. Check it. Let me check it for some warping. Well, it's nice and straight. Didn't warp at all. You can see. Sometimes it'll warp, and while it's warm, you can put it in a vise and bend it back. Once it cools, it's quite a bit tougher to do that. Now we got one big blade left to do on the Damascus. It's adjusting the torch a little bit. Where did we put that? Oh, getting ready to do this one. It's a big blade. It's going to take a little while to heat. JC Knife Works. Kurt's doing the differential edge hardening process on this big Damascus custom knife from a billet that we got from Alabama Damascus. They make some really nice stuff. Quite a big blade on this one. It'll take a little while to get it evenly heated.
hurts wearing those goggles because that the cone of the oxyacetylene torch is so bright that it'll blind you if you've got to stare at it for any length of time. You can see that the edge of that blade getting a nice red, cherry red color. Flip it over and do the other side and then flip it back and forth a number of times to get the heat even on both sides before you quench it. And the oil that's in that tank is designed for drawing the heat out of steel as fast as possible. We heated that oil up about 135-145 degrees so that it's not so cold and doesn't shock the steel when you quench it. Super hot blades quenched in cold water can sometimes crack. So, it's not a bad idea to warm the oil up a little bit sometimes if it's cold out or if it's been sitting in an unheated area. Looks like he's just about ready. Blade's holding a nice, even red color now. You can really see it. See how it tapers back just before the ricasso. And there goes the quench. That. Yep. Kind of moving it back and forth here. Let it cool. I'm going to take it out and make sure that it didn't warp. Oh, nice and straight still. Looks fine. So it's going to go back in here. I'm going to let it cool for a little while in there and pull them out, wipe them off, and then they're ready to finish the heat treating process, which will require a couple trips in the cryo, a couple trips in the oven. Thank you.